In this video, we'll go over the Altars of Lilith, what they do and where they are. Scattered throughout the world in Diablo 4 are Altars of Lilith, which permanently raise all of your character's attributes, giving them a huge boost in power. Some of them are encountered naturally as you travel, but many of them are difficult to locate and necessitate exploring isolated locations. Your current character gains experience and 10 renown of the zone it was located in when they interact with an Altar of Lilith. If you don't know what renown is, I'll talk about that shortly. All characters on your account will receive one of the following attribute bonuses the first time you discover any of the altars. The stats given by each altar is already predetermined and not something that you can choose for yourself. Plus two strength, plus two dexterity, plus two intelligence, plus two willpower, plus five murmuring obble capacity increase, or plus one paragon point. There are currently a total of 160 Altars of Lilith, and these can be found either naturally or using an interactive map. Just Google Diablo 4 Interactive Map and you'll see a handful of options available. I personally use Map Genie, but it really doesn't matter as long as the map you're using is up to date. If you are going to use a map though, I do recommend using one immediately instead of getting 20 or so Altars on your own to save time when you have to mark them off the map. If you were to find all 160 altars, your characters would receive a plus 68 in strength, dexterity, intelligence, and willpower, plus 100 obble capacity, and plus 4 paragon points. Okay, talking about renown, it's a mechanic that is basically your prestige or your celebrity status for that area of the map. Looking at the region process page, we see that it is split up into 5 different sections with each section needing a certain amount of renown to reach that goal. Below that, we see the different ways to acquire points to increase our renown level, whether it is through finding altars, completing side dungeons, or just discovering new areas from exploring the world of Sanctuary. You may have noticed that the 4th and 5th reward sections are only accessible when playing in the Tier 3 Nightmare difficulty. Nightmare difficulty is unlocked by completing the campaign and the Cathedral of Light Capstone dungeon on the Tier 2 Veteran difficulty. After completing that, the 4th and 5th sections will unlock and you will receive the rewards. Did I miss anything when talking about the Altars of Lilith? Let me know in the comments. That's all I got for now. Talk to you soon.